Hey guys, Lex here, and today's video I want to show you my new little toy that I got. It's uh, my Duvrec Stylophone. So, um, yeah, this is quite a. This arrived in the mail today from Amazon. Now, originally, my dad told me that he'd seen one of these in Argos, and he, he had one of these, well, I think his friend actually had one of these back in the day. So, he was saying, listen, you should uh, g um, give that a search. So, I searched it up on YouTube, and there's quite a few videos of this thing. So, I was uh, quite impressed, and I gave up with Google and bought one. So, I got two of these on Amazon for £20, or £9.99 each, plus super saver delivery. So, it took a wee bit longer, but I got it for free delivery. So it was pretty good and um, yeah I got one for me and one for him so he's quite enjoying his. So this is actually the new version not the original version, this one's a sort of re-release and it has a few more features that um, the original didn't have. Now uh, it looks roughly the same, you get the classic style phone logo, logo sorry, the only difference being the TM here. You get the sort of 70's classic grill. The thing just looks of retro charm, just reeks of retro charm, it's so nice, pardon me. And you get your classic stylus. Uh, your power, your vibrato button, and your socket part here. And that's why it's called the style phone. Use the stylus to touch the socket, and it's wired into the machine. So you touch that, and it hits out with the sound. And it was designed so you can sort of slide along rather than having to hammer the keys. But um, it takes a bit of mastery to finally know how to slide along without missing keys, because I've been, I've been playing with it today. I've just had it for a few hours. I'm just starting to get used to it. You know, um, sometimes I hit the wrong key, I have a slide, and I miss it. It's just I'm starting to get used to sort of layout. But um, I've seen some people on YouTube playing it like pros. Uh, a lot of people mistake this for a toy. It, it can easily be used professionally. Um, it was used professionally back in the 70s, um, if you use it right. So let's talk about some of the features. And the first thing you've got here is your power and your vibrato button, like I mentioned. Um, your socket part here, your stylus, and you've also got these new functions. You've got the headphone port here, and you've got a, sorry, a headphone port here, and an MP3 port here, so you can use headphones with it. And you can put an MP3 player in and play a song through it and use this as a speaker. So basically you can put a backing track or one of your favourite songs and play along to it, which is pretty cool. You get your volume knob here and you have your battery pack here and your pitch adjust which is located here. Um, I'm not sure if the original one had a pitch adjust, I think it probably did, but let's talk about this one. Now uh, anyone who remembers the style phone from back in the day or has seen, seen one, uh, will probably remember it sounding much like this. <laughs> That's your sort of classic style phone sound, however this new one has two new sounds which I'll demonstrate now. That's the sort of bass sound. That's quite cool. So um, there's that one and there's this one I like to call the uh, messed up organ if you listen to it. You know, <laughs> I just knew double jagging. That's the first thing I think of when I think of this. Another thing I want to mention to you is um, the vibrato feature. Now this is a real charm. Just listen to the difference here. This is it with vibrato on. Really, really cool. So really nice. Now I'm going to demonstrate the pitch changes. We turn this pitch that we handle here. You hear the difference? Turn it around some more. Turn it back to where I had it, originally had it, which was here. Yep. So yeah, quite cool. So I've been messing around with this, just playing a few themes. One I remember I was playing. I've just been playing some ones from my childhood, and one I remember was a Final Fantasy fan theme. You know. What's it like again? I think it goes. Yeah, there we go. Just getting a wee bit used to the layout, so you know I'm used to the keyboard. It's it's roughly it's the same as your keyboard basically. You've got your black sort of keys outlined here and your whites outlined at the bottom here. Only it's done with numbers rather than letters. 1, 1 1.5, 3, 3.5, 4, 4.5, so it's good for tabs. I'm planning to do some videos where I play some themes and I'll list the tabs in the video, so that should be good. So again you have the fair fact the thing you get your you're double dragging. Which I quite like, so you can't really go wrong. Even better with vibrato on, actually. Which sounds quite cool. The, the Final Fantasy one so is great with this vibrato on. 
that sounds fantastic with the Vibrato actually. You know, I was remember what was one um, you know, uh, Pokemon Pokemon Gold. I was just messing about you know, Pokemon Gold when I wild battle. <laughs> Just a few of them are flooding back in the Pokemon theme. <laughs> you know, then there's um, Pokemon. Pokemon! <laughs> Memories coming back. Uh, like Lion King. Or was it from Lion King 2? There's a song. What was it? One, I believe it was called. So I'll be. These are just a few I was playing. They're not perfect. My apologies. But yeah, I do try to play. I do proper videos, but I do practice and get them mastered on this to put on YouTube with tabs. So that should be good. I mean, I'll just mess around with some craft work, craft work, craft work songs like the model. <laughs> This is good with the bass as well for craft work, the bass ones are real. Oh sorry. So um, one I really liked was um, Pocket Calculator with craft work. And for this one I'm actually going to use all three sounds because it sounds really really cool. So you've got... And you've got your main one here. As it gets more, the song actually gets more aggressive if you listen to it, the real one. And your classic sound here, so you can sort of uh, slide across. Oh, sorry. There we go. That's what I was getting confused for this one. It's like three, so like for the tabs, it would be three, four, three, three, four, three, eight, eight, three, four, three, eight, eight, for the start part then. Three, four, three, eight, eight. Three, four, three, eight, six, six. Oh, what was it? Yeah. So, oh, trying to remember the numbers here. So it's three, four, three, three, four, three, eight, eight. Three, four, three, eight, six, seven, six point five. Now that sounds silly, but listen to it. See, so you've got the sliding there. Uh, you can always do it, like I remember the song that it starts off, really simple, it's like And then it starts to go like more reverbing, so it's like So it's actually really really cool Really nice wee piece of hardware, I really really like this Really, for the price, I'm very impressed with this, I have to say Dubrek nailed it with this one There's a reason it was famous, there's a reason it's well known And there's a reason it's been re-released because it, it's just such a great little machine. If you're looking to get into music, I'm a, I like to do a lot of music myself. I think this is great to start. For the price, you really can't go wrong. I mean, let's say you go and you, you buy a, a big expensive keyboard. There is a chance that you will get inspired, because that's what happened to me. I just, pardon me, sat down and started playing one day and got inspired, and I moved out like Fruity Loop Studio and VSTs and stuff and just expanded my music even further. Uh, I've also got a COG, um, what's it called, Monotron Duo coming in the mail, so that should arrive a few days soon, so I'll be expecting a video on that, great little analogue synth. Um, so that uh, teamed up with this should be quite a cool combo. <laughs> so yeah, um, I think this is great, if you, you want to get into music, you want to practice melodies and just tap away, it's great. I mean for the price it's so you, you don't get inspired, music isn't for you, what have you wasted? 14 quid, 20 quid at most, you know, compared to say 300 quid for a decent keyboard. You know, so you can't really go wrong. Great wee piece of kit. I love it. I'll, I'll probably play this more. Play this more than I play my actual keyboard. <laughs> I'm a big Yamaha, but um, yeah, really, really nice. I think you should definitely pick one up and give it a try. Um, can't really go wrong with it. Really, really nice wee piece of kit. So yeah, um, be expecting more videos in this from me. Hopefully, better sounding songs without any missed keys. I'm still getting used to the sort of sliding cross and stuff. One thing actually, before I go, I forgot to mention this is. 
you need to be very careful. Uh, sometimes um, you will get a crack. Oh, screen's going off. There. Sometimes you'll get a sort of crackling sound if you're too gentle. If you listen, so you get a sort of weird crackling sometimes. Sometimes if you hit it, it depends on the angle. Sometimes I get it, other times it's not that bad. But if you listen here, you get a sort of crackling. So you need to be careful and make sure you you got a precise hit site. Well, I mean, so if you're sort of gentle with it and sort of slide, it's like it sort of crackles a wee bit. It just it depends. But that, when I first got this, I was just like a couple of hours and started playing it. I was just like, well, it's awful crackly, but you need to sort of get the positioning right. It's weird, but it's just the way it is. So yeah, guys, uh, thank you for watching this. I do hope you found this video helpful. If you've been looking for something like this, like I have, it's really portable and you can take it in holiday and stuff with you. Then yeah, this is definitely good. This is can't go wrong again. You can sit with a pill and just sit and play. You get your headphone ports so and you'll not be boring anyone else. People are probably wondering what, what's he what's he got in his hand, and you can reply dead posh. Oh, it's a stylophone by the break. Yes, it came out in the 70s. This is the newest edition, you know. Send all posh, protect the John Conway or something, you know, with your ripping abs and your speedos on, you know. <laughs> nah, I'm kidding. I don't recommend that, but I do recommend this. So do give it a check out, guys. Really, really nice wee piece of kit. And there's all videos all online on YouTube. Plus, you'll be seeing more videos from me, so. If you haven't uh, been planning buying one of these, I do hope after seeing this video, you certainly are. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, do check it out, guys. Really, really good wee piece of kit.